Hi everybody, in this video I want to show you a brand new feature for the PTZ Optics cameras which is called Pan and Tilt Limits. This feature is ideal for tracking objects where you know they're going to be in a specific boundary. This feature request actually comes from a high school that uses our cameras for tracking basketball sports and they know that the basketball players are not going to leave the portions of the court. So by having pan tilt limits, they can quickly go left and right and not be afraid of overshooting the boundary of the basketball court. In this video, I'll show you how to set this up. So once this is set up, you will have pan tilt limits that work with the IR remote, of course our IP joystick, or the Xbox controller with the PTZ Optics app. In this video, we are going to review how to set pan, tilt, limits for PTZ Optics cameras. Setting pan and tilt limits are ideal for keeping up with moving objects where you know the boundaries of your subject. For example, fast-paced sports such as basketball, football, soccer, or volleyball can be much easier to track if you know that the camera will automatically stop panning at the end of the court or field. Other scenarios, such as tracking a subject on stage, can also become much easier to perform if your PTZ camera operator is limited to the stage itself. Pan Tilt Limits are a new feature available now enabled with the latest firmware in PTZ Optics cameras. This feature eliminates camera operation mistakes and the possibility of overshooting the target you are tracking. Note. You may need to update the firmware on your camera for this feature to work. Please reference the latest PTZ Optics firmware change log for more information. Currently, PTZ Optics cameras support pan and tilt limits set up over IP. Therefore, you will need to have your camera set up on your network with a static IP address. Next, you will need to download the PTZ Optics camera control software available on our downloads page at ptzoptics.com slash downloads. Once you have downloaded and installed the PTZ Optics camera control software, you can open it and take a look at its features. This software can control up to eight cameras, provide image snapshots of presets for quick recall, and much more. Today, we are just going to connect our camera and add pan tilt limits. At the top of the application, Click the Settings drop-down and select Multi-Camera Settings. You simply need to enter the friendly name of your camera and a static IP address for your camera. Next, click OK. Once you've done this, you can click the camera's name to select it and take control with the control pad. To view your camera's live video, click the Window drop-down and click the Preview Video. You can now click the Snap option to snap this live video panel to your control panel, or use the live video full screen on a secondary monitor. Now that we have full pan, tilt, and zoom controls of your camera, it's time to set up the limits. Click the Settings drop-down menu and select Pan, Tilt, Limit Settings. The window that pops up will allow you to quickly set limits for your PTZ Optics camera. All you have to do is pan to the limits you would like to set and click the Apply button for left down or right up. Note, after moving to the position you want, please wait for 6 seconds to get the correct position before clicking Apply. If you ever want to clear your pan tilt limits, you can click the clear buttons in this windowed application. By the way, here's a quick tip for PTZ camera operators. You can set different speeds for pan and tilt. So when you're panning, you want to set a comfortable speed for tracking your subject and you know you have the ability to have variable speed so if you're using a joystick you can kind of go slower or faster depending on how hard you push the joystick now with that being said on the tilt side of things generally if you're just going left to right mainly you can lower the speed of the tilt to avoid accidentally going up and down too fast so you might want to have a low speed for up and down tilt and maybe a faster speed for left and right we found that's great for tracking sports and also for tracking subjects on a stage. So that's it. That is how to use pan tilt limits to eliminate 
possible issues of overshooting your target with a robotic pan tilt zoom camera. You don't become a video production expert overnight, so consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, join our Facebook user group, and see what others are doing because you can learn a heck of a lot about video production and we'd love to have you. So thanks for taking the time to watch this video and take care. Bye.